Hi, my name is Santosh Avanavar. I hope listeners enjoyed episode one podcast on teachers raise up leaders. With a desire to bring leadership series in episode two, I will talk about insecure leaders, or in other words, let us explore what makes a leader insecure. And my reference for the series is the Maxwell Leadership Bible. Let us try understanding where insecurity lies in the human needs. There are four fundamental human needs. First, a sense of worth. If this is missing, then one could feel inferior. For example, feeling of being useless. Let us take a scenario in a classroom when a teacher says something like you are not good for anything or you are poor in mathematics i'm sure many could relate to this example a sense of worth second a sense of purpose if this is missing one could be illegitimate for example a need of constant approval third a sense of competency if this is missing then one could be inadequate for example one who pursues various certification courses otherwise would feel not confident of applying for a position in an organization hmm i'm sure a lot of job seekers could relate to what i'm saying and fourth a sense of belonging if this is missing then one could feel insecure aha uh-huh. we see it here a sense of belonging let us look at an alarming example of king herod who abused power as soon as he learned from the wise men from the east that the king of jews is born here they are reflecting to jesus christ a verse that reflects in the beginning of king herod's insecurity is when herod the king heard this he was troubled and all jerusalem with him the word troubled is the beginning of his leadership position where he felt insecure this insecurity also got into other members of kingdom they are the political members where it is referring to all jerusalem with him not maybe the the common people it is the mostly to do with people who are, have taken position as in the political sphere of his kingdom as we continue to see further king herod misused his power to massacre all the male children who were in bethlehem and in all its district who were 2 year old and under oh my god different sources mention anywhere between 10 to 14000 in france were killed irrespective of numbers we know that any precious life is important king herod rather than empowering his people he misused powers let's try to see the chain of events that led to killing of children first the king felt troubled then he was disturbed this led to being threatened thinking someone would replace him yeah i think you can relate to a common present day scenario when you get a job and there is always a fear of losing it up thinking that he would lose his kingdom in order to control his position and kingdom he abused his power by using people for his own purpose by killing several children I also believe that a king must have light to his people that means to kingdom to project his right image in the end he will be remembered as a king who murdered several children in today's context i could totally relate to a moment happened known as me too where leaders in the position misuse the power I would like to ask the listener if they could relate to any present day scenarios 
whether it it could be at work or in a personal life or a political spectrum or so on i would love to read your thoughts in the comment section also i would love to know your opinion on the episode 2 I hope to make a difference in the lives of listeners through the series and hope to see several leaders emerging. See you soon in episode 3 in the next week where I'll share some thoughts on courageous leadership. Till then, stay safe, healthy and happy. God bless all.